I think this looks great. All right. I've never been part of a more <laughs> professional, professional or I hope you're recording, Heather. streamlined because operation. Because this is going to our trailer right on the front of our YouTube this page. This is the closest to a threesome Josh has come, I think. Good morning, Jew. Good morning, Jew. Is it rude of us to drink in front of Josh? I'm sorry, Josh. I got a thing. You got a thing. Good morning. That's why I said I was entertaining. Fantastic. You're a great ball of busta, Katie. I'm uh, Heather Gold here at Morning Jew in Oakland. And I'm Katie Halper, Morning Jew in New York City. With our special oh. guest. <laughs> I'm Josh Gundelman, also a Jew in New York City all day long. Josh is a comic. I have a very familiar face. <laughs> Josh, I look at him. He's the he's the dictionary picture. Nice Jewish boy is a comic from from Boston. Now he's in New York. He also runs a Modern Seinfeld, which is at Seinfeld today, which is a great feed. Which I believe even Jerry Seinfeld has said that he lo- thinks isn't too bad, uh, which is pretty exciting. Debatable. Jason Alexander likes it. Oh, oh yeah, that's that on the record. What about Larry David? Larry David does not like it. Why? But. He was confronted with it in an interview. It was like, hey, what do you think about this? And he was like, oh, that, I, that wouldn't have been on the show, and which is kind of the, part of the point. But also, yeah, Larry. We're, we're just freestyling these. Also, for Larry David to not like something you do is like, that, that's, that's amazing. That's Larry David response That's that you Larry want. David's seal of legitimacy, right. if not approval. Of disapproval, which is what you want. Yeah. From him, yeah. that's his thing. It's like getting a piano recital from Liberace. It's, that's what he gives. It's, what- it's like having Liberace... Ask you to have a face job so you look more like him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bad, even right. better. Katie. Just, Josh also is a web producer for Last Week Today with John Oliver, which is a fantastic show. Really, And he plays an amazing young Republican. Oh, yeah. I'm a Republican because I believe you don't get jobs giving handouts. You get out by giving hand jobs. Wait. It's been now eight days in our counting since uh, Morning Joe decided to steal our name and our take on how to do a show. And the war, everything, pretty much just Scarborough ran out of ideas, and this is where he found them. It's been eight days. Well, not that we're counting, but I don't know if you saw Mika. I did. You did see that, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a huge story in the news in the Morning Jew community. Yep. So I assumed you'd seen it, but yeah, we're waiting yep. patiently. I just wanted to know, I'm the granddaughter of two expert, long-term resentful ladies, so I learned how to, how to count, how long it's been since somebody slighted me in a tiny irrelevant, socially impermissible way. And in all fairness, it's not the the theft, it's the lack of apology. That's right. all we want. We want the well, invitation onto the show and an apology. Right. And I'm anti- oh, really? Yeah, I've decided I don't like apologies anymore. We've driven them into the ground. Wow. I just think famous people apologize and then we let them off the hook. And I think that we should, This and this is, yeah. we're going to get off on a Jew foot. Um, no, I think they should... Uh, donate an enormous sum of money to the people they've slighted. Because I think saying, I'm sorry, you get all the benefits of contrition with Mm. zero sacrifice. um, sacrifice. Right. Actually actually a very Jewish response. It's about the action, not like some vague, like the whole, I can screw everybody, but say I believe in Jesus and it's all good. Right. Even demonstrating understanding. I like understandment. Let's keep it. Understandment. Uh, That's like a new philosophy I'm working on. Yeah. It's beyond understanding. It's understand meant. Like you understand what they meant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think even when you have like someone ostensibly demonstrating understanding, they're like, that's a PR thing, right? Right. Because if it weren't a PR thing, they wouldn't be doing it at all. They do it behind closed doors. They're coached. You clearly didn't see Donald Sterling. We did an episode of Donald Sterling. Where he totally learned from his mistakes. And he's not racist at all anymore. I'm sure. There's no way. I made a terrible, terrible mistake. And I'm here with you today to apologize and to ask for forgiveness for all the people that I've hurt. Like, he, his life is probably better than it was before. Because uh, that's what happens for rich people. Your life he gets lost continued. his. He lost his team. No, he didn't lose his team. He sold his he team. Sold. The worst thing to me, though, is what you've referred to. The I'm sorry that you were yeah. offended. It's basically saying like, I'm sorry you're a freak but, and didn't get my joke. But that one I like. Really? Because yeah, because I think it is truthful. It owns it. You're yeah. Owning- like I don't yeah. like when people hide right. that they're terrible. I, well, that's not true. I do like when people hide. <laughs> They're terrible. 
but only when in a meaningful way. Like if you're if you're a virulently racist person and you are putting on a front like you're not for most of your life, great. But once you screw up we, and we know who you are, then you can't pretend anymore. You go, I'm sorry that you were offended. That's sorry what you do. You're so sensitive. You're so sensitive. That's great. That's beautiful. Because the, what that says is I accept no responsibility I for my give action. A shit. <laughs> I, I will change. Right. I'm awful. And these are the things an awful person says. Right. Just the same as an awful person might say, uh, I'm celebrating a birthday week. Come join me. Or who wants to do this juice cleanse with me? That's Those are like things mm. awful people Ooh. say. Usually it's slightly shorter than right. this. I keep it like stubbly. Because uh, otherwise, there's too much face. I have a lot of face if I don't have mm. any facial hair. And it's overwhelming. It's a, no. it's a self-aware <laughs> young man of the millennial generation. So uh... I would look very at home with like a baby Bjorn. Like that's yeah, the kind you of do. like I have a young dad vibe. You do. That's, that's called the Y D V. Y D V. That's me. Young dad vibe. That's also you my rap name. Something. Young yeah. dad vibe. And his tag. I see it all over. Yeah, I put it up all over the Upper West Side. You, you're I'll you're say Shiva yep, too. Yeah, Yeshivas. Yeah. Uh, young dad vibe. Uh, that's my rap crew. If I'm young dad vibe, it's the young dad vibe. Crew. Our our uh, our rap is actually two live Jew. That's yeah. great. Yeah. It's a lot of raps about bras, how big they are. Here's just a sample of the horribleness I was inundated with this week for the Jews. First of all, uh, the ceasefire, which we helped bring about. I don't know if you know this, Josh, but Morning Joe Jew yeah, helped know. instigate this Morning Joe change, which then led to what was supposed to be a 72-hour ceasefire between Gaza and Israel. It lasted like 20 minutes. But that's the kind of ceasefire we can help provide. It was a ceasefire the length of the pause in uh, living on a prayer before the last time where it's like, whoa, that time. That's yeah. like, that was the length of the ceasefire. It was awful. And next time we're going to try to go the whole song. Israel bombed a school, right? It was Six, a UN school. The sixth UN building is bombed this round. Times of Israel runs the headlines saying, when is genocide a good idea, then retracts it. Two Jewish infants got herpes through some kind of ritual where apparently some Jews oh, suck, no. you know, the blood on the penises of a couple of little, so there's like a herpes thing going on in some small sect of a hyper-Orthodox community. Woody Allen gave a podcast interview in which he said he doesn't really want to cast black people almost ever unless something somehow called for it, which appears to be almost none of his movies. This weekend we saw two calls for genocide. One from Time the, to Israel. Uh, they and took it back. They took it back. Or yeah, then they, they took it back. And then we also had Moisha Fagan who is a member of the Israeli parliament and a, a Knesset and deputy speaker. And he talked about um, basically having concentration camps and um, uh, shipping residents across the world and destroying Gaza. My question to you guys is what can leaven this week? Maybe it's time. And I don't want to be controversial. <laughs> to reevaluate the tradition of putting a baby's penis in a grown-up's mouth. I feel like maybe... maybe. Also, there's there's a lot going on here. Because it's like, where did these old rabbis get herpes? Right. Well, are, are they going to accuse these two-day-olds of being kind of slutty babies? They're the only ones that can't be like, I'm going to go out and get right. some toothpaste. And they pick up Valtrex. You know what I mean? Valtrex, like a baby, yeah. you just know. Right. Babies can't, can't. Babies are stupid. They can't hide they're it. So they're so stupid. Such assholes. They can't be like just a cold sore. Yeah. How like, are you going to keep up the young dad vibe? You need a baby in there, don't you? I do yeah. need a baby. I like look as a prop at least. A baby. I have these impulses. I I always have had impulses to like snuggle a baby to be like Me too. on its belly, but now it's getting worse. But now I'm getting these urges where I see a baby and I'm like, I just want to raise that to adulthood. That's like the only. I look at that baby and I'm like. I could that I could get that baby into college. Someday. I see it, and I'm like, I just want to vaccinate it from herpes. Mm -hmm. Are you a good techie, like a tech person? No, okay, no. I'm more of a tech person than Josh Gondelman. I'm not bad at anything. It's because she's a lesbian, so it, it but it doesn't outweigh her. <laughs>